Anyone who beats their male or female slaves with a rod must be punished if the slave dies as a direct result. But they are not to be punished if the slave recovers after a day or two, since the slave is their property. What seems to be at first may be an indication that this isn't as bad as we once thought, because we say, well, look, if they beat their slave with a rod and that slave dies, they get punished. So this isn't just abject slavery and ownership, but it is immediately followed up with the idea that as long as they get up after a day or two, they're not to be punished. Why? Because the slave is their property. A lot of people often say, Say that God's kind of writing for the people of the time. If you just try to completely abolish slavery instantly, it would have caused havoc. So instead we place regulations and the idea is maybe God is sort of hinting that he's not all cool with the slavery thing but recognises it can't be done away with entirely. I mean, he seems quite liberal in his doing away with other forms of practices in their entirety and so I'm not sure how much credence I give that.